this project will give an opportunity for people from all kinds of people to participate in the scientific and technological process. The most outstanding contribution uh, of RRI tools to society uh, is in, in the cultural shift and cultural change in terms of the way we uh, normally do research and innovation. I guess that what is missing now is that we need a place where people can go and know about responsible research and innovation. And it's not there yet. It's scattered all over the internet. Um, organizations do it. And um, so it's good to have one focus point where people know, OK, if I go there, I know what to do. Responsible research and innovation is a relatively new concept. It is not a new thing totally. We had predecessors, so there's already experience in it. But as a concept, as such, it's new. And uh, so there's, for, for many people, they don't really know about it. They don't know what it is. They don't know how to do it. And for them, RI Tools will provide a website where they can find all the ins and outs of responsible research and innovation and we will be able to really address the specific questions that different stakeholder groups might have in relation to this. Uh, so it's about awareness, it's about ways of conducting it yourself, going about it, and um, so that would really bring responsible research and innovation further. It will stimulate it. I think the most outstanding contribution that the RRI Tools project can make to society is bringing together lots of ideas around responsibility and involving people um, and in incorporating different perspectives into research so that we um, help researchers change the way they do science and innovation so that we ultimately produce products and um, things that actually can solve the problems that we're most concerned about. <laughs>